Well, Rob, we are getting into award season. We've seen a lot of the smaller independent bodies announcing the awards. The Golden Globes, the useless tit fucks that they are, <laughs> wow. have announced their their uh, nominees as well. Who cares? But, you know, the, the Critics' Choice Awards have been named. The AFI has started putting their list together. The National Board of Review put out their list of movies. Well, we're getting close now to the Oscars. The Oscars are coming. And as a result of the Oscars coming, it is now time for us to start getting the short lists that normally come out. Yes. Because remember, there are several round of votings with the different branches of the Academy as they start to put together their own lists about who is going to be nominated for the various awards. Well, one of the awards that we got a short list for is for Best Musical Original Score. Best Music Original Score for a movie. Now remember, ultimately there's going to be five nominees. And they put out a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 short lists about who could potentially get the best soundtrack nomination. There are some really good ones on there. Gla Glass Onion got is one of the short list members. She Said, the music in She Said is actually really, really good. Uh, Woman King, Babylon, Avatar The Way of Water, All Quiet on the Western Front, but noticeable by its absence from the short list, not even in the top 15, is that of The Batman. The Batman did not get a spot on the short list for nominations. Now, some of you may think, well, it, it can still get the nomination, right? Nope. That's it. It didn't even get to the round of 15. And listen, I am admittedly somebody who quite often doesn't notice the score. Like, I really appreciate a good score, but sometimes I don't pay attention to the score, which is the job of the score. That's perfect. But I remember one of the things I came out of the Batman just raving about was the score of this movie, how it just punches up every scene. I love the score. For the this score movie. is absolutely incredible. And I got to tell you, I am shocked that it didn't even get to the short list. Now, I hesitate mostly. You very rarely hear me use the term snubbed, right? Because snubbed suggests that it's so obvious this thing should have got the nomination. You purposefully just rejected it. Like, But I've always said you can only really use the word snub if you can make a valid argument that not only could it have been nominated, that maybe it should have won. If you can't make an argument that something maybe should have won, then I don't think you can call it not getting a nomination a snub. But I'll tell you what, the fact that it didn't even get into the top 15 that surprised. Like, I, I don't know that I would have been shocked if it didn't get one of the final five nomination spots. I would have been a little disappointed because I do think it deserves a nomination. But it didn't even get into the top 15. And like I said, I got nothing against any... By the way, the soundtrack in Don't Worry Darling, not a good movie, but the, sound, the, the score of it is fantastic. But I look at this list, great scores in all of them. But, Rob, I'm shocked that we don't see it in the top 15. What's your response to not seeing the Batman get that spot? Uh, You know, again, that doesn't mean it's not going to get a nomination, by the way. It does. It does? Yeah, this is the branches uh, final, finalized. The, uh, oh, the, the oh, it that, is a final. Yeah, okay, the well, branches, then, yeah. well, that's... That's di distressing. I was hoping it still might have a chance to scooch in. I don't know, John. I mean, the you know what I loved about the score, like the Catwoman theme, the kind of there was there uh, the the different themes. They released this score individually before the movie came out, and I was listening to the right. music. Really great stuff. I mean, maybe they just think, I don't know, is there a prejudice against comic book movies because we've heard so many different Batman themes, whether it's James Newton Howard and Hans Zimmer's score for Batman. Um, I don't know. I think this is a great piece of music. Uh, the whole score is great. I've listened to it a lot. It bums me out. Um, but maybe, I mean, look, all I can say is that Michael Giacchino, uh, look, I'm still pissed his Speed Racer score didn't get nominated. That's, <laughs> uh, don't laugh. It's a great score. Come on now. I'm not kidding. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Uh, Speed Racer, uh, come on. BD50, come on, Warner Brothers, for your 100th anniversary. Um, not kidding there either. I, I think that this 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 is a great score. I think, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know. I can only think that there's a, there's been too many Batman scores. I don't know, all the way back to Danny Elfman. But I mean, look. It makes no sense to me. It's a great score. It, it is a great And by score. the way, not only is it a great score, it does what great scores do, which is elevate the movie that 
that they're in. Who would it, who would it you have bumped out if, to put this one in? That's always the question, well, right? It's like who do you bump out? I mean, that, that's the thing. If you if you look at all the other scores, I mean, I haven't heard all the scores individually, but they're, it's great. They're great, great stuff. Great. There's there's nothing I would say. This is um, these should these are not worthy. Yeah, because look, we got a list all quiet on the Western Front. I don't think you would have bumped that. I think all quiet on the Western Front is going to surprise a lot of people at the Oscars this year. But Avatar of the Way of Water, the score is incredible. The score of the Banshees of Inishirin is remarkable. The score, I didn't love Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I, I, I like it, but the score oh, yeah. was incredible. I mean, the last one won the Academy Award right. for best score. So, there, I mean, there goes anti-comic book bias i mean it actually won the no i don't think there's an anti-comic book bias i think there's a batman bias maybe uh glass onion nope she said the woman king woman i mean guillermo del toro's pinocchio the music in that is fantastic right and one of the things that we have to keep in mind too when it comes to the nominations the academy as a whole does not come up with the nominees right the actual individual branches right so there's there's the music branch there's the actors branch the directing grant branch the designer like all there's all these different branches in the academy made up of professionals in that uh profession and in that discipline so you got to understand that the people who voted on putting together the nominee list are the composers and the musicians and the people who are members of the music branch of the academy i was good so it's not like it's a bunch of people who didn't know what they were talking about. I was going to bring up something else, but it might be a completely different subject. Uh, the release of the movie. Do you think that's ever affected a nomination? Like, because I still think Bat- when you guys say Batman's nominated, I'm like, didn't that come out two years ago? Like it, it, was it like, feels like it, it felt time, like it was so long it, it, ago. When you watch movies in minute intervals, time is different. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> wow. Stay tuned for the Morbius Minute. But I, but I do think, though, that uh, honestly, I think what's really interesting about the scores on the short list is they're very diverse in terms of the kinds of movies they're yes, in. Yes, yes. You know, and I, I would say that, that um, while I do think that this is the Batman score is great, I mean, I'd be more interested. I from a just from a judging standpoint, it's like okay, another Batman. Why well, you got to be judgy? <laughs> Whereas, but like you know, I think it's cool that Don't Worry, Darling, which is a movie that had to deal with a lot of press. I think the fact that a movie like that gets a nod for score shows that the composing branch of the Academy is looking at the quality of the music. They're, yeah, and only the music. They're yeah. not looking at the movie as a no, whole. No, and right? and and I think that's great. And I think that as much as I love the score for the Batman. I think that maybe there's there's a let's look at something else. Again, I'm just shocked. Main, to, I'm sorry. We're talking about the main theme, right? Or is it the whole the thing? Whole the, whole score, the whole score. Thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. The score. whole set. That's I, different. Again, I, I'm just sh- I, Look, again, I wouldn't have fallen out of my chair shocked if it didn't get one of the final five nominee spots. I am shocked it didn't get in the top 15. Like that, that's surprising to me. But hey, I wasn't in the room. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Uh, and if. You know, you are one of the people who really believes it should have been on there. Okay, but which one do you bump? And you're not allowed to bump a movie that you didn't see. Can't bump a movie you didn't see. Because I got to tell you, every one of these movies, the soundtrack was, or the the score was pretty damn impressive. But I, I don't know. It still irks me a bit. How do you guys feel about that? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Manscaped. This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Everyone loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about your new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim up your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA for free shipping and 20% off. And this year I am so thankful for Manscaped because like most of you guys, I used to use Neanderthalic dark age methods to trim my balls. Not anymore. Thanks to Manscaped. It's time for all of us to give thanks to Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Inside, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, Performance Boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. The heart of the package, their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. 
So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the promo code CAMPIA. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank you.